Well, today is something a little out of the ordinary, um, but I'm going to be focusing on a keyway brooch. Now, this one was a fun project where I had to cut a taper inside this piece. Uh, they they don't no longer make this with the taper in it, or they do, but they want a lot of money for it. It's for a customer, and uh, so. This one's different. This is a good example of just about everything that you could have to do on a keyway brooch. That what's what's a keyway brooch? That's cutting a keyway inside of a bore. So if you you can cut like a keyway like this um, on a on a milling machine with an end mill, but in this case uh, we're doing different. We're we're gonna cut the keyway inside the bore and <clears throat> we had to make a sleeve let me show you what a normal sleeve looks like this is a normal one a little uh what inch and a half no inch and a quarter or so a little baby keyway five sixteenths three eighths it's a three eighths cutter i've got lots of different brooches Everywhere from quarter inch up to five eighths now. I had to buy that new one. Very expensive. So this is what a normal one is. You can make them, um, but I find it cheaper to just pay 30, 40 bucks, buy one. I've got all sorts of different sizes. Lots of them in here. And uh, let's go back over there. By the way, cleaned up the shop, added wood. We got a new machine coming and uh, yeah. This was the past three, four days, was getting all this resorted, moved every machine out and moved it back in. So I made this piece because this key is at a taper. So it's the same taper as what I cut into the flange. And then we're gonna start with, it's a little hard to do one-handed, but there we go. Setting that in there, and then we're gonna use our big press. And then since this is angled, we're gonna have to put shims underneath it to kind of move it a little bit that way. So we're gonna be lifting one side to make that straight up and down. So when you're doing this, all of the penetrating oil, lube, oil, whatever you wanna use, just give it a good old douse. Um, these brooches, this one was six, uh, it was $306, very expensive. Don't want to mess it up. It's hard tool steel, kind of fragile. So we're gonna take it nice and easy on this one. So I got it set in there and uh, turn on my big old press. And we're gonna go to town. nerve-wracking but there we go so we're not done yet we got a little bit in but now we start adding shims behind it there's these little shims and the brooches will come with it and in this case it came with four shims so we're gonna be doing we're gonna be cutting this keyway five times
we got cut number two done. We still have a little ways to go. Um, so what's happening here is it's kind of like raking. And so then you get a bunch of chips that look like this. And it's really interesting. So these will all fill up full of chips. That's why there's so much space in there. And uh, so I find it best, put a bucket underneath. It's gonna cast most of it. These are the ones on the floor. So that's kind of what they look like. So it's a lot of metal you're removing. I think it's removing, I don't know, five or no, maybe about 10 thousandths um, each tooth. So it's a lot. And I want to keep the video short, but you know, we're going to add one more shim. So now we've got two stacked in there. We've got two more to go. So we're going to make a couple more cuts and then we're going to be to our final size. give you another view here this is at the bottom and you can see that chips coming out so there you go you've got a broached keyway um, now it matches the other side now I've got to find out what to do with this because I'll probably never use it again in it well, I spent two hours making this piece, a lot to it. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Here's a good illustration of just about everything you could run into. We got a tapered key and a tapered um, flange. Kind of cool. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.